Okay, are we recording? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This time I'm doing a programming tier list review, whatever. So I'm going to judge programming languages of which I basically maybe know next to nothing about or my knowledge is very limited but we're just, this is 2023 this is what people do they judge everything and everything without knowing anything so that's what we're doing right now please like share and subscribe thank you here's my list look i made this list i mean no i i copied this list and changed some things the list starts from the bottom very nice you might be asking how come doesn't say like bad because any programming language created is at least very nice, right? Programming is just the nicest thing ever. Having a programming language is already very nice. Next comes superb. Superb is, is better than very nice. Then what a language. That's wow. That's that's saying wow. Wow. What a language. Then ready to goat. Uh, that means uh, it's already up there, but not quite the best. And uh, the, the last one is obviously GOAT, greatest of all. So here we go, let's see. First up, what's this? C, language C. It's already a tough one, man. Uh, C language used to be uh, the, the GOAT. It was the alpha and the omega of all. Everyone loved it. Well, it's a really strong language. It's, it's still, I think it's still really strong. Unfortunately, it's procedural. As far as I know, I might be wrong though. So. It, it that's that's a little bit of limitation to it but uh, i think that that language is that language is still like very low level and you can almost do anything in it so i would say it's uh it's uh either ready to go or other language let's let's just put it in uh ready to go okay so it's, it's almost up there it's almost up there it's a really nice language visual basic well i mean i think i think you already know where this is going does it exist anymore i don't think so but uh, i have some great memories when i was younger i was learning programming did visual basic the first windows where you could click at what i, I done it in, in visual basic uh, as far as i know it grew into like a scripting language like vb script and it was integrated into like word and excel and you and i on the university we did some like stuff with with vb script but well i don't know it's i feel that it's it's very nice okay i feel it's very nice it's not really a general purpose it is what it is next up c sharp this one's tough because it's a strongly typed language not not because it's a strongly typed language it is a strongly typed language it's a little bit different it it, it doesn't compile into a, a, a generic source code that's not what i meant to say it compiles differently okay i don't know is it is it as good as, as c or c plus plus Probably, I would say C sharp is is I, I would put it right now into a water language category. Maybe you going to hate me for it, but uh, let's just let's just leave it in there, okay? This one, what what's this? Is this Bash? I think it's it, this one's Bash and this one's PowerShell. Okay, let's continue with Bash. Personally, I really don't like coding or making scripts, uh, but. I, I think it's it has to be better than Visual Basic, but definitely not as high as C or C sharp. So let me just put it in superb. Okay, hate me, love me, what? Okay, Ruby. I know absolutely nothing about Ruby. Uh, literally, uh, not a single thing. I know it's some some type of like general programming language. It's no a, a platform made Ruby on Rails and all that, but I, I really don't know. So. Let's just let's just put it in in super. Um, I'm really sorry. I really, I'm just gonna admit I don't know anything about Ruby. Okay. This this one's what HTML. This one's HTML, right? I mean, HTML is not really a programming language. Uh, I think it's like maybe just this structured data. It's nice for learning and all that. And maybe 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 it's. I would say it's very nice. It's okay. It's very nice. MySQL. Let's let's just change this generally to to SQL. Okay, they have their purpose, but it's they are again there for for data database. This is a database language. I think I think it's superb, but maybe a water language because without it, many other platforms wouldn't exist. So I don't think this really belongs to this list. But it's it's already I think it's a very useful one. Java. I mean, you should argue that if I put C sharp here. 
I should put Java next to it, right? They are like the the two concurrent languages. But then again, Minecraft was made in Java. I mean, Java version is made in Java. I don't know. This one's tough again. These these are made to be like sort of platform independent, but they are not really. I mean, let's let's just put it in Waddle language. I know you're gonna hate me for this, but let's just leave it in there for now. Okay, next one. What's this? This this is like CSS. Let's maybe this was CSS and this is now oh, there's HTML. I can see here. This one, let's say this is CSS. Okay, CSS is how how this one get here, I don't understand. So it's a very nice thing. You can style your websites and already, but it, it has no other purpose as far as I know. So let's just put it in very nice. It's very nice to have. We have internet, we have websites. We need we need that. Okay. All right. Here comes the here comes the big one. JavaScript. I mean, I've been learning JavaScript for learning using JavaScript for a very long time. I think it's 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 a very good language. I, I really enjoy doing it, uh, doing work in it. But I mean, the fact that it's not a strongly typed language, it makes it a, a little bit like on the hard side. I mean, it's it's a little bit it's a little bit hard to use. But eventually, you can get used to it, and you can do awesome things. And now that all kinds of stuff like Node and all that started to use the JavaScript, it become more popular. So normally, I would maybe place it in uh, in what a language category, or maybe only just in the superb. But for now, is it ready to go? Well, I don't know. I don't think so. Compared to C, you can't really do that much stuff in JavaScript as in C. It's, it's, a, it's a different different category. So this is a general purpose. JavaScript is not really a general purpose language. So I will just put it in what a language category is. I think it's fair, but you might hate me for it. Okay, now next C++. Now this one's this one's tough. This one's C on steroids. This, this one's object oriented, this one has a little bit more features. With this you can do literally anything. It's a really, 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 really good language. And I think it's either up to the ready to go or the gold categories. I'm not even kidding. This this one, i done some work in C++. It was a very long time ago and it was you could really do anything. Let's just put it in for the ready to go category for now and maybe I will change my mind later. This one, this one, I think this one's list. I don't know nothing about it. It's, it's uh, as far as I know, it's a really, really old language. C is like maybe 50 years old. This one, this one, I think it's like 60 or something. I honestly, I, I have no clue what it's used for. I think it's like some sort of general purpose. Maybe I think it's probably procedural. So it's uh, in super, right? It's okay, right? Can I put it in there? Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's higher. I don't know. This one, PowerShell. I'm I'm not even gonna. It goes into very nice MATLAB. But I, I did some things in MATLAB actually. Don't recall what what for university stuff a long time ago. Since then, I have not seen a single line of code in MATLAB, so I, it's, again, this is not a general purpose language. It's for mathematical stuff, but for that, it's really, really strong. So let's just put it in what a language category, because in its category, it's, it's, it's a really awesome language. Now comes Perl. Takes me a while to remember. I probably did use it some really, really long time ago. Then again, I'm not really familiar. I will just judge it by the gut and I will say it's a superb language. Okay. Love it or hate it. That's what I put it. Now, here comes the, 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 the big one, the, the big problem, the, the PHP. So, you know, I, I do a lot of stuff in PHP. Okay. I do WordPress, I do all that kind of stuff and, and you know, it runs on PHP and, and many, many things run on PHP. Is it a good language? Is it a, is it worthy of like a ready to go ranking? I don't, well, you not, well, I don't know, to be honest. This one's really tough. The recent revisions had some really, really nice changes to them and, and, and you can do more and more and more and more stuff with PHP. But then again, it's best to run in on, on, on web servers and not wouldn't really use it for general purpose. It's whatever, it's a scripting language. It's good, but 
I feel like it's not that good. I mean, a lot of you would have automatically put it in the very nice category, and I think that's that's not justice for PHP. I should probably move it higher. I I will say, you know what? I will say, it's it's what a language. This I I did. I'm sorry, I did a lot of stuff in PHP and I think it's still really powerful. Mm, they're working on it, okay? It's probably it's gonna be better uh, each and every time. Now, we're left with two choices here. One is the assembler and the next one, <laughs> that's right, that's Python. And uh, both of them are a bit familiar to me, but I'm really not, well, I did some assembly coding a long time ago. I did some Python coding a long time ago too. So I'm, I'm not really an active Python coder, but uh, let's just start with assembler, okay? I think, and, and hear me out, in, in assembly, if you want, you can basically do anything, right? With the right amount of time, with the right amount of uh, manpower, you can do anything. Well, you can, act if, if, as far as I know, you can even create all the other languages. Right? So, what if I told you that I think the assembler is, uh, is the GOAT? What do you think? Am I, am I stupid? Am I crazy? Is this crazy? And I know you have expected me to put Python in the top of the tier list. Like, we can have only one GOAT. I, I didn't say it, but there is only one goat. There's no two goats. There's only one goat. So the question is, should I, would I move uh, Python to the goat and the assembly to the ready to go? Or should I move Python to the ready to go category and call it a day? And this is a really tough choice. Uh, Python is, is, is really powerful. It's a, it's a really great language. I will do justice and I think I will put it in the ready to go category and call it a day. I will say in assembler you can do anything, okay? It's basically, it's the mother of all. And then comes these languages which can, which are really powerful but can do all of that. And, and even Python is a little bit of like in a boot, like like it's 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 it sh should be maybe lower i i don't think so than the rest of them so here it is this is this is my list i think it's it's justified i, I think from what i know this is this is my list it is what it is right so i hope you wait i will just sit up like a normal person i i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like thumbs up and subscribe it really helps me a lot i really hope i can make a lot more videos like this or maybe like education style videos but my time is a little bit limited but i will do my best thank you again bye